Good morning, everybody. How are you? My name is attorney Charles Zavala from Zavala, Texas Law here in beautiful Houston, Texas. We are immigration lawyers. We also do uh, small business claims as well as criminal defense. Today, I got a video regarding a certain type of visa that could be helpful for many business owners who are finding that due to this COVID situation or due to the shortage of workers, the supply uh, supply chain issues, a certain type of visa that could be beneficial if you're a business owner or if you know somebody that could be qualified. So um, I'm gonna try to kind of make it uh, as short as possible because you know you could talk a lot about these type of visas, but like I said, I'll try to make it easy to digest and understand. So starting at the beginning is with immigration, you there is what's called business in immigration, employment immigration. And with the idea there is that you bring foreign um, people from other countries, not the USA, that they could come here, work in the USA for your business, and then um, they can either renew their visa or they can then maybe apply for something a little bit longer term. So there's tons of work visas out there. You know, they all have crazy letters and for like L1, B, L1A, H2B, H2A, uh, EB2. Th th there's a lot of different visas, but today specifically is what's called an H2B visa, okay? And this is a temporary visa. It's not permanent, right? And it's usually, and it's for non-agricultural. So if you are thinking, you know, you know, I need workers or people from the agricultural sense, this is not your visa. This is for non-agricultural. But more specifically, this video is going to be geared to uh, something that we've been working with a lot of companies recently regarding truck drivers, okay? And I'll explain why. So as COVID's been going on, you realize the world's kind of been shutting down. So there's a lot of supply chain issues. One of a very important part of the supply chain is moving stuff from point A to point B. You need truck drivers for that. And right now there's a big shortage. So there's a lot of companies saying, well, look, what can we do? You know, the world still has a demand, but we're having a hard time getting stuff from point A to point B. And that's where the H2B visa comes in, okay? So it's a temporary visa where you can bring a foreign uh, worker to come work for that purpose. This video specifically is gonna be truck drivers. And this is what I wanna explain. So, to be here in the USA, to be a commercial truck driver, you have to have what's called a CDL. It stands for a commercial driver's license. It's a test you have to take. It's similar to, you know, when we took driver's ed or we had to get to get our little personal driver's license. They had to do also do something that says, look, you are allowed to drive a commercial uh, vehicle here in the, in the USA. So what happens is this. If you are from Mexico or Canada, your country will give you your own sort of CDL, right? So if you're in Mexico and you're a truck driver in Mexico, you have to go through your government to get your own CDL. The good thing about, same thing with Canada. The good thing about it is USA will recognize those country CDLs. So for example, let's say we got little Magnus right here. Let's say he's from Mexico and he's got his Mexican equivalent of a CDL, commercial driver's license. He does not need to get a new one to work here in the USA. USA will honor it. His Mexican one. So for Mexico and Canada, they will honor it. So that's great. You know, that kind of makes the hiring process a little quicker. So if there is already somebody in Mexico or Canada who already has their equivalent of the CDL, they don't have to go through the process again. And that's good because um, A, it makes the time in which you can bring them over faster. Um, and as well, you know, they probably already have experience doing this. That's one great thing. Um, you also have to be over 18, right? The person who are you bringing over, so little Magnus right here, let's say he's 16 years old, nah, USA's not gonna let that happen. He's gotta be over 18. Over 18 and have his commercial driver's license from, his, from Mexico or Canada. If he's from another country, not Mexico or Canada, he can still um, come in the USA and work, but he's gonna have to get a commercial driver's license in the USA, okay? Not saying it's impossible, but it's a little bit of an extra hurdle. So the question is gonna be this. Okay, let's say I have, um, sorry, and I hate to use all these little things, but let's say I got a little Mr. Turtle here. Mr. Turtle here, let's pretend he is Amazon. Let's just say he's Amazon, or okay, I don't wanna get in trouble with Amazon. Let's say he's similar to Amazon, where they're moving a lot of packages to and fro. They need a lot of stuff. He says, hey, I don't have enough truck drivers. What can I do, Charles? I would say, look, you know what? There's this thing called H2B where we can, if we have truck drivers or if you know people who are eligible or who would like to do it from another country, we can bring them over as long as they qualify this stuff. So what would happen is this little um, Amazon or whatever we want to call this guy says, look, I need to bring over truck drivers. I got 20 potential people in Mexico who I want to bring over. They all got their commercial driver's license or their equivalent. How do I do it? 
Fantastic. So this is what happens. The USA always, I don't want to say always because that's kind of general, but um, the USA is always going to say, look, we want to make sure we can protect our citizens and give them job opportunities first before we give it to somebody else, right? It's kind of the way there is. So with an H-2B visa, what we have to do, the employer, the Amazon or whoever's bringing them over, we have to show that, look, there's a shortage of workers and it's either because it's seasonal right like right now is our high season where we we're shipping out a lot we don't have enough truck drivers two you could say you know what covid's going on and because of that we don't have truck drivers but what we're ultimately going to have to do is we're going to have to show the government that we need these uh workers from abroad and we cannot find them here so the way we do that is it's to get an H-2B visa, it's a, it's a three-step process. First thing is what we have to do is we have to get what's called a labor certification, right? And what that means is we have to show to the government, specifically immigration, that we tried to find workers here and we weren't able to. And the way you do that, you know, there are a few ways. You have to put ads in the newspaper, stuff like that, and show that, look, we A, we didn't get enough people we wanted. Two, they weren't a great fit. Three, they were, um, you know, there's a lot of different things ways that we can kind of get around that but we have to do that first and that is to prove to immigration that we tried to do it here all right so that's step one so step one once we're done with that we're good we take that labor certification and we move to step two which is called the petition and that's where we submit it to immigration and we say look immigration um this company needs to bring over 10 employees, right? We already got our labor certification. We weren't able to find anyone in the USA who was willing to do it like this. So we submit that to uh, USCIS and we say, look, USCIS, these are the name of the people. These are the type of jobs they're gonna be doing. This is the company they're gonna be doing, everything. Immigration could either say yes, immigration could either say no. Assuming they say yes, which is hopefully what we want, assuming we do the application right, Great, that petition now gets approved and we move on to the third step, which is called consular processing, which all that means is we set up an interview in the person's country, the worker, the, 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 the person who's coming to the USA at their consulate, they go for an interview and that's where they get their visa issued. So it's a three step process, you know, um, but it's definitely something that could be done, you know, and especially now where there's a huge shortage of workers, this is a lot of companies are looking abroad to bring in help. Why is it a good thing for the business here in the USA? One, because it fixes a shortage that's happening. Two, um, there's a lot of workers from other countries want to come to the USA, A, because wages could be higher than what they're being paid in their home country. And then um, once you've established a reputation with a worker, you know, you could remember the H2B is only seasonal, so they can't stay here for an forever you know it's usually um they'll like, give it to them for how long their business is going to be it'll always be less than a year right and then we have to go back to their country and then they can do it again right so that definitely is um pro uh, possible another good thing about the h2b visa is it does have something that's called premium processing and what premium processing is this is um normally when you send things to immigration uscis they're pretty damn slow I'm sorry, I hope USCIS doesn't see this, but if they do, maybe they should learn a little bit because it, they're very slow and a lot of businesses just can't operate if I submit a paperwork and I don't hear back from you for four to six months, right? So there is something called premium processing, which the government says, look, if you pay extra money, we will now go ahead and process your application within 15 days, which is great, right? Um, in a perfect world, it would be 15 days. Normally it's not 15 days, right? Because you have to send it, the application to USAS, they have to receive it, then they have to send it to the department that gets it. But from the moment they start processing it, it's usually about 15 days. Um, another good thing about this H-2B is you can, if you, let, if you already know you want to bring over a good amount of people or, you know, more than one, you can put them all on the same petition so you don't have to file multiple petitions for different people. You do it all at once and you only pay one filing fee. So that's really big. Um, so that's kind of the gist about H2B, you know? So this video is gonna be specific for people who either know someone who's a truck driver in a foreign country, or if you're a business owner here in the USA and you're running into these issues, you know, an H2B could be a good option. And remember, this isn't only for truck drivers. This video specific is for truck drivers, but also hotels, hospitality, all that stuff is H2B. So whenever, Let's see, what was stuff in the news? That, um, I think Trump. Trump has some hotels, and you would hear that he would bring in a bunch of uh, foreign workers to work at the hotels. That's with the H-2B. And, then, and the rules allow for this, right? Because it's seasonal. They're here 
and then they go back. But this is not for people who work on agricultural stuff, okay? So if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're more than happy to help you. And H2B could be a great um, solution for a lot of businesses right now. And we're more than happy to help in any way we can, okay? Thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.